share it with everybody else. We came across the railway, we'd never seen it before, but uh, we came across the embankment of Port Maddock and saw the smoke blowing across, so we stopped to find out what it was all about. And once we dis discovered that it was a steam hauled railway, but, um, that was about 1963, and then about three years later I started volunteering. I came up on my bicycle from Birmingham and uh, stayed for the summer, joined the uh, buffet staff, the buffet crew on the train. The railway could not operate without the volunteers, there's not enough permanent staff to do that. Um, but um, we reckon that there are probably between six and eight hundred active volunteers. <laughs> I started here as one of those volunteers and when we finished building the railway um, I stayed on to look after the market. Couldn't do it without them. We've got about 85 full-time staff on the railway that are they're here all year round and that goes up to about 120 uh, in the peak season with additional people selling teas, coffees and things like that. Uh, but we couldn't do it without a thousand volunteers that come um, throughout the year to drive the engines, to clean the engines, to work in the workshops. But the interesting thing is that people come from all sorts of different backgrounds. We've got university lecturers, we've got doctors, uh, dentists, engineers. If you're interested in anything from gardening to uh, turning metal on a lathe, we can find something for you to do. There's something alive about them. Um, it's a cold lump of metal and you put a fire in it, you put water in it and it becomes alive and it has a personality sometimes in it's a good mood, sometimes it's in a bad mood. It's a bit like being married. As moving parts it needs to breathe air, it makes a, a sound as though it's alive when it's moving. It has to drink water, eat coal. Almost seems to be alive, absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. And the railway had been built initially um, to carry slate and mineral traffic um, through the mountains but um, it was not very commercially viable, there wasn't a huge demand and uh, trade gradually dwindled. Uh, there were tourists of course in those days but not in anything like the numbers that we see today. I think the, the secret from my viewpoint, because I look after marketing for the railway, is to not be boring, to always do new things. And it's a really old railway and it's been here for 180 something years now um, but what you need is to encourage people to come back because you're doing something different every year <laughs> Thank you.